For Halloween, I'm making different classic monsters, and I'm starting off with making Frankenstein's monster. So I'm stacking up cake layers and then covering it with black chocolate ganache, and then covering it with fondant. And I'm using green fondant for the monster's face, and then using black fondant for the hair, and I'm cutting it into sharp points. And for the face, I'm adding the eyebrow first, and then working on the eyes. And I want this to look like a cartoon, so I'm making the eyes pretty big and adding the white specks in the pupils. And for the smile, I'm making it a smirk to give it personality, and then using black gel food coloring to paint in the stars. And the final details are to add the bolts onto his neck, and then the white specks into his hair. And that's the cartoon side complete, but now it's time to make the realistic side. And to make this side, I'm using modeling chocolate. This way I can blend all the pieces together and really make this face look realistic. So I started off with making the eyebrows and the nose, making it as realistic as I could. And then I started working on the mouth and then building on the face. And now I'm using modeling tools to start giving the skin texture by adding wrinkles and scarring on the side of his face. And once I have the face modeled completely like I want, I can now start adding color. So I'm using edible oil-based paint to color in the face and the scars. And to give the eyes a little more depth, I'm using a mixture of different colors to blend it all in. And now I'm detailing the eyes and the lips and now I can start working on his hair and I'm giving it texture by using modeling tools and then adding the bolts onto the side of his face. And for the final details, I'm painting his hair black, painting the bolts silver and adding a white streak into his hair. And that's his Frankenstein's monster cake complete. So which side do you like best, the cartoon side or the realistic side?